right guys welcome back to another tutorial today what we're going to be covering is a series on making structures for m crater though this a lot of the practices that come with making structures are also compatible with data packs for minecraft and are actually like possible to be used for minecraft tutorials as well so we'll be covering uh structure blocks today and we'll be taking it from there i'll be covering all the settings and uh then we'll be continuing continuing the series uh next couple weeks so outside of that let's uh go ahead and quickly see how we can obtain the block for the structure block we can go ahead and type slash give and then we're going to go with at p for the nearest player and then we're going to go Minecraft and colon, and then we're going to go structure. And it should come up in the top here. If you hit tab, you can auto complete it. Now we will be covering structure voids in a future video, probably the next one. So um, just make sure you get the structure block, not the structure void, because that's a huge difference. And you're going to be given this kind of block right here. So once you have that block, you can actually go ahead and place it down in the world and you'll start to see that there are some different settings. The default one that it's normally on these days is on loaded, which is basically to load structures in. There's three pages, which will be, we'll be covering all the different settings and stuff like that. There's the loaded one corner, uh, which we'll be covering how to use and then save as well. So we'll start with the corner one as it's um, pretty easy to use when you know how to use it. So let's go ahead and plop down something. We'll just make a quick structure for this uh, particular example. I'll just make a cube for some reason. I'm not sure why I'm making a cube, but we'll just use it as an example for how to demonstrate how to use this uh, corner feature. So first thing that you want to do is you want to open up the F3 screen by pressing the F3 key. And this will give you some information about the actual um, world as well as a little axis in the middle, which you can see on the center of my screen. It, when I rotate, it actually rotates around based on the angle that I'm looking at it. Um, now all the corners meet at the bottom north west corner so the lowest point in the world so over on this corner that's where we want to put our save block now we could put it over here and basically generate it over there but i've i think that the easiest way is just to put it where it's going to be generating and stuff like that so once we've done this uh what we need to do is go on to the other side now you might have noticed to put it in the ground now that's important because it's going to automatically detect the bottom corner right here on the block above, one block out, and then one block in. And that means we're going to also have to do that for the other side. So we're going to place a couple blocks like this, and then we're going to go ahead and place the other block here. And we're going to set this one to corner mode, and we're going to give it just a random name. Now, if you have multiple names of corner blocks around in your area where you're making your structures, you might want to change the name of this. I'm just going to call it one because that's the easiest way to do it because you already have your hand on that side of the keyboard. I'm just going to save it for now. We're going to be deleting this block later, so it won't matter too much. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go over here, go to the save mode, and we're going to make sure that the structure name is set to the same name as the corner name, and we're going to go and press detect and it's going to wrap our uh, structure around with the outline for the um, actual structure where everything's going to be saved so you can kind of see the outline we have the red color right down here the blue color and the green color now if we open up the axis you can see that's the same color we have here as well we have the blue going this way green going up and the red going that direction so exactly same color as the uh, axis of the world now once you've basically added this corner one you don't really need it anymore so you can just break it and everything is saved to your save block here uh, so everything is still uh, set up so you don't need to worry about having your corner block at the top of your structure all right so the save mode uh, this one is probably um, pretty easy to cover uh, basically we have a relative position what this means is we're going to have our relative position where it's going to start from the block and you can offset this in negative or positive coordinates 
and basically it just um, tells it so if it's like right now it's like one one and one that basically means one this way one that way and then one up so basically it's this block right here where it's going to generate it now you might notice that this is relative to the actual blocks position as well so if we were to do negative one and negative one and negative one you might notice that the structure location is a little bit different so this is because we're going negative one down negative one this way and negative one to one that direction and that brings it kind of center of where the structure block is we don't want that because our structure is in the right location with it that direction the second line of uh, coordinates is the structure size this basically allows us to set the size of the structure if we want to set the height then it's the middle one this is your x coordinate or z coordinate and that's your x coordinate so to find that out what you can do is you can face the direction from the from the pivot point blue is your north and south direction and the red is your um east and west direction so basically east and west west is negative one and for coordinates and then you have your um east which is your um positive one and then for the south you have um positive one and then north is negative one and then obviously up and down is based on the height so negative one for down and then positive one for up hopefully that makes sense a little bit so when you see this what we're seeing is we're getting a cube area of three by three which is exactly the size of how many blocks i put down uh, the other thing that we have here is we can show invisible blocks this is actually really handy when you're working with invisible blocks it actually shows uh, certain blocks that are invisible so this one just indicates that there's air and if we give ourselves a structure void i can demonstrate what it looks like when there's a structure void there so it's kind of like a pinky color i don't know if other air blocks have any effect on it but um those are your basic um, icons for the um, structure void and air blocks so we'll be covering that more in depth next uh, tutorial and then we have uh, the include entities the include entities one basically allows you to save entities in the structure so if we were to put a pig in here or something like that we could even do um, a chicken maybe then that chicken will always be generating in that structure that we save in this particular location so basically it allows us to save entities if this is on and if we don't want entities to be saved in the structure zone then what we can do is we can go ahead and turn this off it's off by default but um, if you don't want entities to be saved like maybe you're designing just a structure and you have entities in it and you want one for entities and one not for entities then you can definitely disable it or whatever for the other thing and then of course the structure name is just the name that it's going to be saved for the file so we're just going to call it um minecraft now the the namespace part is where the structure is actually going to be saved under a specific folder so if we were to do something like tail of biomes and then this and then give it a name then basically it'll be under a tob uh folder in our mine our world save so we'll be covering where to find that both in minecraft and in m creator so just give me a second to um just type this out so we're going to go with minecraft minecraft and then colon and then where we want our name so i'm just going to call it uh cube and we're going to go with chicken and i'm going to enable the entities for this and we're going to go ahead and click save and that's going to automatically save it to um, our structures folder so let's go ahead and see where this is actually located in the minecraft and then we're going to go ahead and see how it's imported in m creator all right so i am in the actual game right now i have minecraft loaded up it's 1.21 1.1 so we're just going to go ahead and go to our 
um, game menu uh, when we're in single player. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to options. And then the easiest way to find our actual location for our, our save is just go to the resource packs and then open resource pack folder. And then you will have a folder like this. So if we go back one uh, folder, we'll be able to see our location where we've basically saved our, our actual profiles and stuff like that. Now by default, um, if you don't set your um, actual location for a specific um, profile for all the installation stuff for say a version of Minecraft, then it's going to be under your app data. And I highly suggest actually breaking or even moving a folder inside of your .minecraft and just calling it something. Like for example, I have Minecraft and then it's underscore profiles. And basically under here, what I've done is I've separated the versions. And then what I've done is gone to, in here is where all the saves, resource packs, um, things for that particular version are located. This allows it to not override specific things and allows the two versions to be separate. And it will um, be a little bit more safer when working with mods as well. So you have different profiles and stuff like that. Now this is just using the vanilla launcher for everything. So um, I'll be covering where to find it right now. So if we go into saves and then we'll have our world folders, so you might have more than one here. And then we'll go into our uh, world folder. And then what we can find is one after you've saved the file called generated. And then it will be the namespace that you put it under. And then if we open up that one, it'll be structures. And then our MBT for our structure is here. So for mCreator, it's a pretty much the same process. Uh, if we go over to mCreator, we can click on our workspace and then open workspace folder. And then we'll have our workspace folder here. If we go to runs in 1.21, it might just be the main folder that you have. And then we can go to client and then there is the um, saves. And then we want to go into our world folder. So I, you might want to look for the latest one that was basically modified. We can actually see where it's been modified in the parts here. This is probably the one that I was in today because it's September 2nd. So that's the one I'm going to go into. And then we want to go into generated, same path that we had before. If you have a different namespace, if you do tailed biomes, then it's going to be in TOB, like I showed in previously. And then you have your structures folder and then our cube. So this is our cube underscore chicken. So when you want to actually load a specific file in here, uh, then what you can do is you can basically drop it into the same path. So if you don't have the generated folder, you'll need to create one. It's called uh, generated and it's a G E N E R A T E D all lowercase. And then you would put your path here. So Minecraft and then structures all lower, lowercase. And then what you would want to do is drop your MBT in here. Now I'm also going to quickly cover how to uh, find the files for vanilla structures. Now if you have a copy of the game you can open it, the jar up in 7-zip. I've uh, covered this in a previous tutorial. It might need to be updated a little bit but um, basically I have the Minecraft files here. So I have data and the assets. Now you want to go under the data folder, Minecraft, and then there should be a folder called structures in the main folder for your the Minecraft namespace. And then these are all the different structures that are basically in the particular game that use things like jigsaw blocks and other things that we can actually import from. So let's go ahead to the village and we'll go ahead and copy something from the plains biome. And we'll just go ahead and copy out the town center. And we'll just put town center one in. So we're gonna grab this MBT here and we're gonna copy this and paste it into our mCreator folder under the Minecraft namespace. We're also gonna copy the name by renaming it and then we're gonna go control C to copy it. And then we're gonna go back into mCreator and then test that out. All right, so we want another structure block and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly over here somewhere where it's a little bit flatter and we're going to place down the structure block 
And we're going to go ahead into our load tab. We're going to go Minecraft colon and then our structure that we want to load from the generated Minecraft structures particular folder. So this is the one that we had in that particular folder that we just copied, which is the town center. And we can set the rotation for this. By default, it's on zero. Uh, there's 90 degrees. Um, this, I think, enables flipping and different directions. And then we have the uh, other part, which is the 80 degrees, so 180, which uh, flips it completely around, and then we have 270. So we can actually use this to rotate our structures if we need variance for some reason. And we can also include entities when we're actually loading the particular uh, structure as well. And we can show bounding box if we want. Um, by default, we're going to just basically set it up like this. And the first time that you press the load button on this side, not the load button on that side, that will switch between the pages. This one with a big load, uh, that basically will um, calculate the size and stuff like that. So uh, by default, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the relative position is not going to replace the structure block. So we're going to set the position to 1, 1, and 1. And that's going to put it, again, on the coordinates that are... Um, positive for where this access point is so it's going to put it right on this particular block and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and load it and then it's going to show where the structure is actually going to be taking up so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to clear out some of this just to make it a little easier to see and then we're going to go ahead and press the load button again and as you can see this is what the vanilla structure for the um town center uh, particular one where it says fountain is located. So this is what the fountain looks like. You might notice that there's some other blocks here that are similar to the structure block, but they have a little puzzle piece on it. We'll be covering that in a future video. Um, I'll be covering all the settings and stuff like that for them, which is actually the jigsaw block. And um, there's certain mechanics between this. So when we're looking at these particular files, they all mean something. They're all indicating a certain particular system for the structure itself. But we'll get into that in the future in this series. So don't worry about that. The next video that we're going to be working on is basically allowing um, difference between different ear blocks and how they affect structures. So definitely tune in for that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.